Hello again, Ramon Russell here from the MLB The Show development team. Everyone here at San Diego Studio has been dying to give our fans more info about the feature set for MLB The Show 16. From today until launch, we'll be giving you weekly developer diaries and Twitch streams to take deep dives into our feature set this year so you'll know everything there is to know about MLB The Show 16. Here's a look at our tentative schedule leading up to launch on March 29th. Every week, we're going to have a different developer diary and or Twitch stream to tell you more about our feature set. And I say it's tentative because MLB The Show is very much a game in development, and we may need to move a few things around. Here is game designer Matthew Schaefer to tell you more about the new features and changes to Road to the Show. Matt Schaefer here from the MLB The Show development team. We've added a lot of new features to Road to the Show this year. The first one is the Bowman Scout Day. The Scout Day is an opportunity to display your individual skills for the Scouts. Your performance in the Scout Day repetitions and the showcase games that follow will generate your official MLB scouting report. These reports are now based on the True to Life 2080 scouting scale that is used by MLB teams to determine your draft value. Once drafted, it's now time to hit the field and prove yourself to your new club. One of the best parts about Road of the Show is that you can get through a lot of games in a short amount of time. Well this year, we've streamlined the experience even more. Now you can play a full series of games without ever having to load back to the main menu. You'll have access to the training screen in between games as well, so that you don't miss out on using any of the points you've just earned. And speaking of training, we've added a whole new dimension to it with unlockable perks. Perks are unique bonuses that you acquire by training player attributes. You can then choose which ones to equip and bring into a game with you. There are two kinds of perks, consumable and passive. Consumable perks can only be used once per game, but you choose exactly when to use them. So you'll want to save your best perks for the most important at-bats in the game. Passive perks work a little differently. Once equipped, you don't have to worry about activating them, since they come into play automatically depending on the situation. One more thing to keep in mind, your perk loadout will impact how much showtime is added to your meter at the beginning of each game. The more powerful your perks, the less showtime you regenerate. You may be wondering, what in the world is this showtime? Showtime is a feature that allows you to slow down time in critical moments to make amazing plays. You'll be able to make diving plays, react to screaming hits, and have maximum control over swings when you need it most. Your showtime meter will deplete based on how you use it. So, use it wisely and make sure you have it when you need it. That's it for this video. Be sure to join us on Twitch next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time as we take a deeper look into Road to the Show, answer any questions you might have, and give away some stuff. Until then, see you later.